cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hey, good morning. I've got the perfect thing to serve if you're having company over and you don't want to be in the kitchen the whole time. These are great in the summer. They're great for game day. And if you don't want to be manning, or in my case, womaning the grill the whole time, this is normally what I do. Way cheaper, too, than ordering a sub platter. I'm going to show you how to make my party pinwheel sandwiches. Everybody loves them and they're easy breezy. So you start out with some softened cream cheese and then ranch dip mix. So we're going to season up our cream cheese, give it some great flavor. And I'm going to use a mixer and just whip this together. This is going to be our spread. It's going to be kind of the glue to hold these sandwiches together. Now these are a make ahead, which is what I love. If I'm having a bunch of people over, um, I don't want to be in the kitchen the whole time. So you can make these even the night or the whole day before. And what kid doesn't like ranch? So these are very kid friendly too. Now we went to the deli at festival and picked up some wonderful different luncheon meat. We've got sliced turkey here, roast beef. You can do ham. You can do some of the gourmet different. There's like a sun-dried tomato turkey. So, you know, have fun and get different um, types of deli meat. And then we picked up these flatbreads. And they come in different flavors as well and different sizes. You could also use tortillas. So we're going to take a generous amount of this spread, which is the ranch and the cream cheese, and really kind of get it all the way to the edges because this is what's going to seal this together. These are actually best if made a little bit ahead because you can wrap them in saran wrap and they're going to be really easy to s slice up. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. Okay. So get our spread down on top of our tortillas. And you really just kind of get an assembly line going and you'll be making, you know, depending on how many guests you're having, uh, a dozen or more of these. Okay, down goes our deli meat. We'll do one roast beef and one turkey. And you don't want to overfill these. That's the other thing. If you do, then they won't wrap as well. So keep that in mind when you're putting these together. All right, now we've got some lettuce. Make sure the lettuce is really dry, otherwise your sandwich is gonna be um, a little bit soggy. And I would advise against not using tomato. You don't wanna use tomato, that also is gonna um, be a little bit watery and soggy. If you do want some extra color in here, you can use a jar of roasted red peppers. But again, pat them really uh, well, pat them dry with a paper towel to absorb any of the liquid, the water, so that your sandwich doesn't get soggy. Now very, as tight as you can, you wanna roll these guys up. And then if you're making these ahead of time, which I advise, especially if you're having a party, you wanna wrap each of these tightly in saran wrap and get them in the refrigerator. And that way they're gonna really glue together. And then before your party, you get to decide how big you want to make these little pinwheels. So it just depends how big. Usually the ends I'll save to nibble on myself. And you just cut them as, you know, to the size you want. And these are really great because people can just pop them right in your mouth. You've got all sorts of different flavors here. You can do, do different trays of them. You've got the turkey and roast beef. And these are really fun. Serve them with, you know, the rest of your traditional party foods, chips and dips and veggie and dip and dessert and all that kind of good stuff. And I, I'm telling you, these are always a hit. They look really, really pretty on a platter. So they're my party pinwheel sandwiches. Recipes on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. Enjoy.